Are you on? Yep, I'm yep. on. Okay, there you go. Hi, my name is Nicole Rogers, and I'm the owner of Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art. Welcome to Balloonanani. Um, let me tell me, tell you about myself. I was born in born in Romania. You know where that is? That's over in Europe, um, by Ukraine, and by um, Hungary, I think. And my dad rescued me from <laughs> Romania to come home to adopt me. And I have autism. So, um, do you know what autism is? Autism is a, there's, there's two um, spectrums. There's the high functioning and the low functioning. So the high functioning is where um, I can play the sex, I can do balloons, and the autistic people don't, and I don't do all that weird stuff. So, <laughs> what weird stuff? <laughs> like, 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 you know, weird and tense and stuff. So, um, and low function is sometimes kids are nonverbal. Nonverbal, can't speak, and they, it's you know how they express themselves. They sometimes um, get attention by touching and stuff. So, thankfully to my mom and dad that helped me on my autism and didn't know I was homeschooled too for my mom. <laughs> so, I was very fortunate that I came a long ways for this. So, I'm gonna, um, and I played the saxophone. My favorite songs are The Pink Panther, Over the Rainbow, and The Baby Elephant Walk. Both of my favorite. So, and um, and I have my assistant here. Come on up. Come on up. Sister. Yep. I used to be dad. <laughs> now he's my assistant because when I first started this own, my own business. A little taller. <laughs> and when I when I started my own business, I had to teach my dad how to twist some balloons. Because I got so busy with lines and stuff at performers market and stuff, so, so any if you got any questions, this isn't on. So how do you know if people are gonna to try to ask you anything? Well, you I on there? You good? I think okay. I see the comments right there, so somebody there? Okay. I yeah. Uh, can, can I go now? Yes. I'll be over here if you need me. Okay, and now I'm gonna start doing a dog balloon and his name is going to be Fido. Oh, I like that name, Fido. So, this is the dog I'm going to teach you guys today. So we're all done, right? It's a, it's a cartoony <laughs> dog with buck teeth and a little tongue and, and, and he looks cute, you know, he looks like a cartoon like you see in all those cartoon movies type stuff, type stuff. All right. And then I'm gonna, and okay, now let's get to twisting, guys. So now what I do, what you need for this design is a white 160 for the teeth, a black 260 for the ears, a um, black 160 for the tail, a, a three brown mo mocha brown balloons for the body, paws, and um, this is for its time, 160. And you need a pink 260 for the nose. I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick for the nose. And then uh, you need a blush 260 for the mouth. The nose, the cheeks, and the mouth. So next, and I need a white quick link or a round balloon, depending on what you have in our kits. It, and a black marker, and we use glue dots. And we use these googly eyes that you can get at like any old craft store, like Michael's or Joann's or Order like, Online. Like those, kids like those a lot. Though. Yeah, they do because they wiggle. <laughs> so now I'm going to start with the brown, his body and his head. So now I take a brown 260. I throw it up maybe about four inches of tail. So how do you know if you have anybody asking you any questions because your phone went off? That's why I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. 
They'll burp it like so. Wow. <laughs> ah, I think not all my blues can do that. That is weird. So now I'm going to take it, go like that, like a hands width bubble. Uh, maybe about a, looks like maybe about a six inch. Six inch, and then yeah. I do a double pinch twist because you have a reason why. Because that's where you're going to put the ears, and you want the ears to stand up. So I do a double pinch twist. And then I just line this up to the knot, like, like me up the mirror image it, like so. Okay? And then always pull the knot through because you don't want that piece to come undone. So this is what you have should have right now. Something like this. Now we're gonna take uh, maybe four fingers for the neck. So this is going to be his neck. So, and then we're going to do, like, maybe a, so this is what, what size? Uh, maybe six or seven inches. Six to seven inches. And then I have to fold it over, and I have to twist it into this crease. Because that's how you want, you want it. This is what it looks like right now. So I'm going to bring this down, go like this. And have you ever heard of a roll through before? Then you take it, and then you kind of roll through it, like so, like this. So you have a body in his head. So if you don't have like a enough tail, you can always take this, put my, take my handy dandy little baby scissors, scissors, Deflate it, bye bye, then tie it, and then you tie in a knot, and then you kind of twist it around, like so. So, and now, this is, do you know what this is called, Dad? Uh, no, what do you call those? Scrudgies, smudgies. Scrudgies or smudgies? Or stragglers. Stralax stragglers. Yeah, they, these we don't need, so we need to cut these off. So you call them a straggler, huh? Yeah, they're, they're, they're pieces you don't want on a balloon. Now take a second 260 mocha brown, and I'm gonna make, you don't need a lot of this because. <coughs> <laughs> Perfect again, tie it. Okay, then you take this, then you tie it. Like so, tie into that joint because that's where you want it. But we're gonna make where the paw's gonna hook in at. So what I do is I come up maybe about a hand twist bubble. Little hand twist, you got like little. Movement. I know. Everybody's balloon twisters' hands are different sizes, so you need to uh, determine on the size of your, of your dog too. So, and I make a one inch bubble, and I kind of line it up. Because the reason why I have these, um, these like this, because I'm going to hook the paws in it. So your balloon should look like this. Right. So then I'm going to put two double pinch twists on the bottom. Because that's where the tail going to go. And you just make two pinch twists. Up the same side, and you just do it like this. And then you have to, then you have to get rid of this. So you just cut it at the end, like so. Shrink it, and then tie it. I could remember all the steps and see, I always have a hard time when we're doing line care. I always have to ask you questions. Yeah, that's what my dad does sometimes. He has to ask me questions about my balloon stuff. So, huh. then the balloon should look like this. Okay. So, that's not a beginning stage of the dog. Now, you, I'm going to make the paws next. Take another 260 brown mocha and blow it up. Like about maybe the same width, 
because you want to be able to have poles so he has to walk somehow. Okay, and then I make, take, I twist like a one inch bubble, like so. Then I, I make three of them because that's his little paws. You know, dogs have those cute little paws. And three. So and then I'm gonna squeeze it because it'll release some pressure. Then I'm gonna take this. This is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna continue up to one of these joints. So you just pull it through, hold it like this, pull it, pull it, doesn't matter what side you start on, because all you have to do is straighten it all out. Then you take these and you put it into this joint like this, because that's going to make your little paw. So you have the balloon like this, because it's connected into that joint. So now you come up, and then you twist right into the neck. So you, because you're making him sit down on his, on his thing, on his thing. On his bottom. On his bottom. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to poke it to this one, because I need to have Paul's right here, too. Show her exactly. I can't see it. So right here. Okay. So see how, like, I have that one on the joint? So I'm going to push, poke this one for to put on this joint. Like so. Like this. Oh. It says here, there's a comment on here, I'll read it. It says, uh, I saw you and your dad. Oh, I can't. Hats off to dad. Okay. Hey. They, they do, they got little things up here. You can read them. Yeah, that's how a live video works. Well, I didn't see that. But so, you, you don't get it on your phone that way, though, do you? No. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> so now this, I just. This guy, this guy says he wants to take his hat off. It says, hats off to your dad. What does that mean? It's just an expression like, uh, good job, dad, or maybe something like that. Maybe he's wearing a hat. Maybe. Maybe they greet him like this. Oh. <laughs> you know? I see him do that. So what I did, I deflated it, right. the remainder, and I just twisted into that knot to make the fall. And we need to get rid of these squidgies, right, guys? I like stragglers. So I cut it like that, so it'll be hidden. Is so now my balloon supposed to look like this, with it, little paws. Maybe tuck it in there a little bit more, huh? Right there. Scrudgy, Sean. Scrudgy. Okay, so the right, balloon right. should look like this. This is our basic foundation of your dog. You can make it any color, any breed. If you like, you want to make a Dalmatian, this one could be all white. Put spots on it, you oh, know? Wow, that's a good idea. Yeah, you know, a Dalmatian? Yeah. A firehouse dog? So... The next thing I'm going to do, he needs a mouth. So I'm going to take a blush 260, stretch it because it'll work better, then inflate it. Like, probably the same length because I like to get more twists out of it. Then I burp it. Uh, and then I tie weird. it. They sound like real burps, too. That is weird. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm going to start with a double pinch twist right. in the back. Because that's how it's going to be stabilized. So, what I'm going to do is... Did we decide we were going to go two on the back side? Yes, yes, yes. So you change it from one to two? Yeah, I got oh, two okay. here. So this, oh, okay. this is what you should have to look like, right? Fish lips, you know? Oh, okay. Then, now I'm going to take, take it to make a, a cheek, you know?
don't want the cheeks on the side. So and I do like a four finger. Oh, okay. And I just twist this it, twist maybe, it. Maybe a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger, maybe? Maybe. maybe just a little Dogs bit. Dogs sometimes have big cheeks. Yeah. Sometimes. Not all the time. Supposed to be looking good. Those ones on the one we did yesterday, I think they look a little bit bigger, yeah. 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 Okay. I do like a hand split. Okay. Of cheek. Right. And then I tie it into this knot. Yeah. So I do the other same of a thing on the same side. So the upper end should look like this. See? Like almost like a foot, basically, you're making. <laughs> kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. That would be a good foot on some other kind of balloon. Oh, like yeah. That. And then I that just uh, fold it over, make it the same size. Oh, mirror image. Huh? Yes, always in your image when you do balloon twisting. Mm -hmm. So, that well, looks... Well, compare it to the other one. See what it looks like when you're actually twisting it. Yeah, yeah, I like to do it. Yeah, 
straighten up. Sometimes your mouths are tricky to get straightened up. So the mouth should look like this. Yeah, that looks good. That looks <laughs> so good. it takes time to, to struggle with it yeah. and stuff. And So this is what your balloon should look like now. Yeah, so, looks, looks really good, I like these dogs. Yeah. Now I'm going to do, uh, let me see here. I'm going to do maybe his tongue. Yeah. Because uh, when I have the teeth and nose on, I, it tends to shift sometimes. You kind of get in the way, don't they? Yeah, we do. And yep. sometimes that one time he bit you. No, he didn't. He could have. He did not bite me. He had two big teeth. Oh, yeah. He didn't burp it. Okay, so then <laughs> you take a red 160 That's or any color of the tongue, like a pink. So you just inflate it. Why is his tongue so long? I'm going to do a trick, guys. I'm going to shrink it down. I thought you were making an ant eater. I'm not making an ant eater. And then I just measure the width of his mouth. Oh. Like so. Oh. The length of his mouth. Because this is going to be a, just a pressure fit, guys. So, I'm going to tie it like this. You don't need these um, stragglers anymore. Stragglers? How did we come up with that? I don't remember how we did. Scrudges, scrudges. I don't know. Then see how it's kind of soft? You want it that way because there's a reason why I'm going to pressure fit this into the mouth. So you should have a balloon like this. Then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to pressure fit that little guy in there. Like almost like a little roll through. Just in simulating a little old tongue in there. Like so. Oh, it looks good, man. Yeah, because you want it to have it stick out. You know, like your dog's panther. You know, you go, <laughs> you know, they do that. So that's what you're simulating. So now I'm going to make the nose. So but when I make the nose, I take the two, pink 260. I blow it up all the way because I need to make a little, little round big nose. Like that. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna twist it like maybe about that size. Oh, it's gotta hurt. No, it doesn't. And then this is the fun part, guys. Little kids like that, huh? Yeah, they do. I think you had gas. No, I didn't. I think you did. No, I didn't. And you're on TV. No, no, I not. never do that. This is not good. Enough. Then I tie it and then I just leave a little room because what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to put this to the side so you should have a ball like this. Like a little pink nose, you know. Mm -hmm. A snowman nose. Okay, now I'm going to take a white 160 and I'm going to make some teeth. you got to have teeth. So, so just blow it up. You don't need a lot of this, just a little bit because you're going to make him look like he has teeth. So tie it. Then now I'm going to uh, real, make, real small. Oh, I need to make them small, oh, like, yeah. like yeah, that. that looks like Maybe a, about right. like three fingers. Three fingers, I'd say that's maybe two. Fingers. Maybe two. Okay, then I just fold it over, and I just mirror image it, and I just twist it. Always poke, poke the knot through it, like so. Yeah. So then you just cut this off. Like this, bye-bye. And I'm going to tie it. Then I, to be on the safe side, sometimes I need to tie it again because sometimes these little fold twists, they just come undone and I don't like that. So I'm going to do that. So and then I'm going to take off one of the squudgies or scraps. So and this is going to be a cool trick because I'm going to tie these two guys together to make like a rubber band. You know on you you know how to do goofy balloons? You know how his teeth is? Did you leave enough on there? No, um like sometimes that? if you don't have enough guys, you can always use like a scrap to um oh, I think you cut too much off, huh? <laughs> I think I did too. Sometimes I do this, it's all day. So now, now I'm going to tie a scrap on. It don't matter, does it? No. You just have to pick up another scrap, feed it through there, and just, and just do it. So I'm going to cut this scrap off, and I'm going to leave this one.
because I'm gonna need to tie these both together, like this, because you want to act like a like a rubber band type thing. So I'm gonna tie it like this, so the balloon should look like this. But cut off the stragglers, of course. I like this part. You do? Oh, I think it was a cool idea on that. It was your yeah. idea. Then you take this piece, and then see this crease right here, guys? I'm going to poke the nose through it to that crease. And I'm going to have the teeth underneath the mouth. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it, push it up. Oh, it's going to hurt. No, it's going to hurt. Then I'm going to push it up. Push it, push it to point to the nose. Oh. And I have to straighten out my teeth. The let booger let sometimes. Let me see, let me see, let me see. And this is what it should Oh yeah. This is what it should look like, that guys. Is so cool. That is like a cartoony mouth. <laughs> so he's missing some parts. He's missing a tail and ears and his little tummy. And a stomach. Yeah, I said that. Oh you did? Yeah, I oh. said tummy. I knew that. I knew you said that. Okay, so now for the tail, I take a white, I mean black, 160 or whatever breed of dog you're making over there. And you just take it on the agenda. It's a Doberman picture, then you'll just have a little stubby tail, right? If it was like a Doberman Walt Wilder, they don't have tails, because that's how they're bred. So I'm going to take the black 160, I'm going to blow it up all the way, kind of like I did to the nose, because I want a smooth tail. Like this. So I have to measure on my dog how long of a tail I want. So. That's what you did last time. Uh, wanna, yeah. Wanna go up a little bit more. Yeah, whatever you think. Okay. Then I just pinch it up. Feel like that. And then I just tie it. Like so. And then you have to leave this pretty soft because there's a reason I'm gonna curl it. So like this. Kind of, kind of snap at it and make it all curly like this. Oh. And then you just you don't need a lot of this, you just need a little bit. Then you're gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right in here. So I'm gonna take this and put it into the pinch twist. Okay. That number that's why I have those pinch twists on before, because it would help stabilize his tail. So, you just get it right, and then sometimes you can snap those stragglers in like that. See you guys do that. So, you can always straighten it out, see what looks good, and this is what your tail should look like. Oh. It can be curlier if you want, or what? It can be, you can do a poodle tail too. Make it like a poodle dog. There's all kinds of breeds out there. Go ahead and hand it to me while you're making yours. So, I'm going to adjust the tail for you a little bit. I'm going to make the ears now. Is that okay if I do that? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take a black 260, stretch it, then I'm going to make his ears because he got to have ears. Dogs have big floppy ears, you know. Okay, there we go. So. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to take it. And you want these ears pretty soft so you can squeeze it just like this. Oh, it's like making a mermaid tail. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how big I want my ear. So is that a good... I'll make it a tiny bit small. Is that a good size? Yeah, and then copy that. Just double that, yeah. Hey. All right, that's good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to have to... Yeah, because you're going to split it in half, remember? Yes, because that's for mermaid. Right, right, right. That's actually a pretty good way to do it, I think. It is. It's just... So, I just tie it like this. Then now, you just tie these together like a big, huge loop. Because I'm going to do something for his ears. So, is I'm going to tie it like this. And is it soft, real soft? Yeah, it, it is. I, I, I really squeezed it. Oh, okay. Why do you do that? Because I need to put floppy ears. You know how dogs have those fold down ears and oh, okay. sometimes they stick up. Now do you leave a straggler in the middle of that? Yes, because oh. there's a reason why. Okay. Let me get these on straight. Does that look like? Yeah, that looks pretty close. Okay, so now I'm going to just twist it. And sometimes I have to feed one of these through. Or maybe not with the black. So now I'm going to... 
Yeah, there's these black balloons. Sometimes they do. So now, no worrying reason why I leave a straggler on, because I'm going to attach the, this piece to here. Would it be a good idea, do you think, Nikki, to uh, bend the ears now before you put it on? Um, I can do that later. It doesn't matter? Okay. No. Just so thought. what I'm going to do, I'm going to take his ears, and I'm going to put them right in these pinch twists. So you should have a balloon that looks like this. Like almost like a propeller, you know, an airplane. So you take it, and you just twist it in these ears. I like doing that because it really, I mean, it gives it less pressure on the balloons, because sometimes, man, they do pop. But they do. So now I have to straighten them out. So what happens when they do balloons? You have to straighten everything out. So I have to rock one of these. Pinch twist is in the front. So like so. And then, this is going to be cool. His ears uh, need to be curved, you know, like a dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it, take it like this, and I'm going to fold it like doing a duck hat, you know. And then you just... Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just do it. It's okay. Just take it off and do another one. Okay. That happens sometimes. Yeah, it's, sometimes it happens. So all I have to do is cut it off. Yeah. Throw that away. That scared you, huh? Yeah, I did. So make it soft. Maybe make, I should burp it, it more. Yeah, make it soft. A little yeah. different color, but that's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Sometimes I see brown shady dogs, so, so I have to burp it again. Oh, there you go. I'm going to make this real soft, I think. So, now... If you don't, if you have less pressure on the balloons, your ears won't do this. So if you have more, more pressure, your ears will pop. So you just squeeze it there like so, because you want the air to be very flexible. So now I'm going to take it over. There you go. And I take it, do it again, like so. Yeah. Balloons happen sometimes. Okay. Twist, and I just snip it off like this. Oh, you did good, Nikki. You didn't freak out or nothing. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay. Sometimes you, you get all weird, huh? Yeah, I do that sometimes when it comes to balloons. So then I tie it like this. And now I have to put it in the middle. Okay. So. Oh, that doesn't look even. So mm -hmm. you have to make it eyeball it, kind of eyeball it so you can have his oh, ear. Okay, and now I'm going to... So how tight do they feel? I don't think they feel tight. You can always massage them. I know, more, I right? like this. Yeah, yeah. Or you can massage it like this, if they're loops like this, because the pressure builds up inside these loops sometimes. There you go. It's all with air, you know. Sometimes the air can be weird. So you're trying to expand the latex. Yeah, you want to expand the latex so you can get a nice bend. So again, I'm going to take this. Well, yeah, I'm saying, I'm thinking, I think it's better to do the custom now. I think I'm going to bend them now. Could have been my nails, too. Because then if they, if they pop, it's it better to have them pop now, huh? So, okay. <laughs> there you go. So the balloon should look like this. Like a curve, you know, like almost making wings on like on a butterfly or whatever you guys think. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to tie it into a pinch twist. Like so. And I have to straighten them out so it looks like a little droopy dog. And trust me, I love puppy dogs. Okay, and then I'm gonna. Okay, so the ear should look like this. Oh. See, that's cute right now. It's almost, but, like a, it's almost like a bow. Yeah. So this is what the balloon should look like. So now we're gonna do something else with this. With this, we're gonna make a stomach for him. So now. Oh. And now I have to, to make the head kind of rock forward, I'm going to add two double pinches. You can use a fresh balloon, you can use a scrap, doesn't matter what you have. 
full or um. Are you gonna use the scrap or you want me to get your new broom? Scrap. Oh. Okay. And then you just blow up the scrap like so. Then tie it. And then I'm gonna make little double pinches because you want the head kind of rock forward. Right. Otherwise, it's gonna look like a howling dog. Huh? Yeah, like. Which is okay if you want it. I mean, if you want to make a walk, guys. Howling, you can leave it like that. Yeah. You know, because wolves do howl. You know, they howl to the moon at night. Yeah, but if we made a balloon like that, then we'd have to make a moon. No, we don't need to. I thought they howl at the moon. Well, real ones do, because I I heard of coyotes here at the house one day. Then if we have a dog like that running around the house, they're going to turn into a wolf man. Oh, stop it. Then we're going to have real problems. There's no such thing as werewolf, guys. There's, there is, too. I've seen them on TV. So now, then we have these two pinch twists. So I'm going to take them to put them in here. Because you want the head kind of rock forward. Okay. Just kind of straighten them. So see how it kind of rocks oh, forward? Uh, see how it kind of can lean forward? So it should look like this. That looks cool. Yeah. Oh, say goodbye to your mom. She's going to be going for you. You can just say it from right there. Okay. Say goodbye. To your mom. Not them. Bye, mom. Right now. See ya. Okay. Yeah. Now, guys, I'm going to say <laughs> a quick length balloon or a round balloon or a heart balloon, depending on what color you want her stomach and, and what color of her dog is. So I, I don't blow this up too much because I'm going to pressure fit that into his stomach. So maybe. Yeah, that looks like about right. Yeah. Yeah. On each dog, it's different because I made these so many times. So now, if you have a quick link in this case, like I do, uh, it's easy to get rid of this. All you have to do is tie it like this. Like this. And then you double knot it again. Boop. And then you have to cut these off because there's going to trick a trick I'm going to show you. Is it like a magic trick? No, it's called a pressure fit, guys. Okay. I'm gonna take this bubble and I'm gonna put it in this, in this right here, like that. See how it kind of formed to make a little belly? That's what you're supposed to look like. Oh, it's cool. And my guess is you need to come what, up here because what, what do I got here? Provide the uh, the markers on what? markings and the eyes. Well, why can't you do it? Why do I have to do that? Because you are my assistant. <laughs> yeah, but you don't get paid anything. Well, he, get, he deserves a latte, guys. That's, that's all I get is a latte when we go balloon jamming together. Yep. And what do you get? All the, the money. money. All the money. <laughs> okay. All right. So here you go. Let me see. That kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's his mouth is a little no, it's okay. tricky. It's okay. Just yeah. one eyeball. That's glued. Okay. Yeah, you can. You want to make a cyclops dog? No, we don't need no cyclops dog. That'd be weird. I would have a normal looking dog in my household. I think cyclops dog would be cool, and then you gave him some blood coming out. Oh, stop it. Oh, that'd be good for Halloween. Oh, well, that'd be good for Halloween. It's not Halloween in this case. And I, you want to have him have him a, a black eye? Yeah, oh, sometimes they have little patches, you know, like a Boston Terrier and stuff. So, something like that. Okay, here's some hair. Huh. Okay, here we go. I'm just looking at some comments and they... Oh, you, oh, you can read them on me? Yeah. What do they say? Okay, so, um, a lot of people, there's no questions yet, but... The Trish and Michael Savage, he said, I saw you and her dad together at Florida Super Jam. An amazing her dad assistant is so, so supportive. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Trish. Oh. oh, no. What happened? Nothing. Oh, okay, okay, I thought something happened. Uh, I thought there was something wrong with the dog. Well, he did try to bite me. No, he did not try to bite my dad. Sure. He never bites because his teeth are made out of rubber. Rubber, rubber teeth. Been a rubber bite. There's a song called that uh, in the Big Mouth 
Candy Rock Mountain, they say rubber tea. Oh. I know that song. What was that one? Candy, what was what? It was on a Kang Chang Gang tape because it was a movie they made up. Oh, okay, and you want some Okay. And you want some uh whiskers, right? Yes, dogs have whiskers to make them uh, feel. Alright, I don't like this. Let's see. Those little lines. These are lines. These are real whiskers. No, they're not real whiskers. Okay, I'll make them.
Then, in order to make this stay, you need a pinfist. So the balloon should look like this. So, now I'm going to make a pin twist in order to make her bun stay. So now I'm going to make it go down. Maybe, mermaids, I need to have it like, maybe is that? Yeah, that looks okay. That maybe looks a good. hand width? Oh, maybe, maybe a hand and a half, huh? Hand and a half? Yeah. It's kind of like you just kind of... Yeah, you have to eyeball this I, stuff. Yeah. And then I'm going to take this yellow, fold it over, squeeze, and then twist right into here. Then now I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to wrap it over, like so. It's fairly snug, isn't it? Yeah. Squeeze again. The reason why I squeeze the balloons a lot, it makes it, um, workable better. So before you cut that off, show them what you got. So the now, this is what I got for the hair. Sure. So I took this, that excess piece and I wrap it around. If you have like room for an excess piece and right here, you can make balls. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. You mean like bread balls? Okay? Yeah, you like a hair soil balls yeah. or something like that. So now I have to cut this off. Boop. Tie it. Like so, and I just do it, and then cut the scraggers off, it's like almost like a tongue twister. So now, I'm going to make her arms. So that, that looks like that. This is what your hair looks supposed to look like. See? Something oh, like that. Yeah, we, and okay, when you do the hands, and I'll hand you the other part. Remember, you're going to show Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to make the hands maybe uh, that yeah, long. That looks like about right. Then I fold it over to make it so it lines up with each other. And twist it. And that's kind of like the hard part, is trying to get in back to that neck. So now, to make these arms to go down like this, she needs her seashells, you know. So the balloon should look like this. I got like two full twists, basically. See? Okay. So now I'm going to take a gold chrome 260 or whatever color of mermaid you're doing it. Stretch it. Then I just display it. You don't need a lot of this because this is just her little seashells. So I'm just going to come up. Oh, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, that'd be good. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I'm going to talk to it. No, we don't twist them. Oh, yeah, we don't twist them together. <laughs> we did that yesterday, too, huh? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so make them, make them both, and then you, you oh. show them, right? Yes. So they know what they got. There you go. Make, line these up. That's what you did yesterday. Almost like making teeth again. So I'm just going to... That'd be some big old teeth, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be. Dogs don't have that big of teeth. So now I'm going to tie it like so. And then show them what you got, huh? So you should have you a go. balloon piece looking like this. Okay. The reason why I leave stragglers on, because I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to just line it up. You can scoot them up and down if you had to. Okay, a little higher than you. Yeah, there you go. And you just kind of tie them not too tight because it would distort the balloon. We used to do that a lot. In the yeah, huh? when we were first making these. Yeah, then it didn't look Mermaid. Right. Yeah. So now you just tie it like so. And then you just have to kind of. Now the balloon should look like this. But now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to roll it like this. So. So the balloon should look like this. See? Yeah. Let me see something. Just a little bit more, huh? You just have to adjust the seashells oh, a little bit. Yeah. And oh, looks good. Make it look good. Looks real good, I think. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, this is what it should look like. So, my assistant. Oh, have to, oh well, cut your, uh, do your uh, waist. Oh, yeah. And oh. I'm going to come down a hand's width. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to twist it like this. Put it in my hand, like that. Oh, aren't you fancy today, huh? I learned that trick from YouTube. And then I just took off. Sorry. <laughs> and now I'm just going to twist. 
Tie it. Boop. Like that. So you're showing them what now? Okay. What are you going to be showing them? So, this mermaid can be also be a ballerina. You know what? And you know how? Because... Me, 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 me. <laughs> Ballerina, you just tie it, make a forward pedal, flower pedal, twirly legs, and there you go to ballerina. Oh, look cool. So these ballerinas look cool, but today we're making a mermaid. So let's continue with the mermaid. <laughs> it's just one way what you can do with this design. So now I'm gonna make her big long ponytail now. Because she needs one. So I take a yellow 260, stretch it, then I pump it up. I like that part. <laughs> and it popped. Sometimes it does that. I don't know how old of these balloons are. It scares the heck out of you, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know how old these balloons. So you just pump it up. We tie it. <laughs> and what I do for the ponytail, I take a, um, a, make a pinch twist. Because that's how you attach it to the hair. Like so. Then I just come down. Find the midpoint, because I'm going to do a special trick for this. Twist it. That looks right. I'm going to have to use my legs for this part, because I have to twirl the hair. So I just stick it between my legs. Maybe you got a balloon hidden down there, and you're really not doing nothing. It's going to pop up different. Huh? What? So now, you just twirl it like that, between her legs. Because oh. her legs help you with that part. So I'm just going to deplate this, like so, tie it, always tie the balloons, so it don't come undone. So, cut it off, and now I have to poke this out a little bit to, in order to work it in there. Yeah, sure. See, I just have to poke it out, kind of slide it out. And I just take this piece, take it in there, just kind of feed it and kind of like tie it, like so. And now, so the hair should look like that. Then now you take this piece, just stick it back where it was. You know, so now, you should have a hair ponytail looking like that. Oh, that looks good, man. These ponytails are very beautiful. <laughs> so now, I'm going to do, she's going to have some little barrettes in her hair. Oh, you're going to do that now then, okay. Yeah, I All went right. out of the place, so sure, sure, I take a chrome 260, hopefully it doesn't pop. <laughs> I bet you guys had that experience before, when they pop on you like that. So I take a gold, I mean, green chrome 260, or any color of hair or barrette you do, and then you just tie it into the knot here, yeah, like so. And then I just make tiny little bubbles, like that. Like this, Dan? Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I like this part. So and I then I'd go around the front and see what it'll do. It'll hide that scrunchie that's showing. Yes. Yeah, just go the other way. Sometimes yeah. these are the tricky part to do. Messages. Sometimes it takes four or five bubbles, maybe sometimes six, depends. It all depends what, yeah. what you're making. And what I do is I keep wrapping them around as I do it. And it kind oh. of holds it, see? There you go. That's what I'm trying to do. So. Yeah. Then you don't have to fight it as much, huh? So now I'm going to take this. Yeah. Oh, that looks good, then. Yeah. And then I just wrap it around the ball, right there. Yeah. Now it's Okay, and then I just cut it off like that. Oh, you got that down pretty good, huh? Yeah. The detail really makes these nice. Yeah. That was something we added on as we went, didn't we? Yeah, they, we were making one one day, and we we were just fiddling around with it. Oh, no. What happened? What happened? Okay, so let me. Oh, fix that. I know. Yeah, if balloons do that to you guys, 
You can always fix them. I thought you just hate that too. Yeah. Especially I when, thought I had it. Especially when you're filming, huh? Yeah. That's okay. That's part of the balloon stuff, huh? Oh, well, I'm gonna just start over. Wanna do that one over? Yeah. All right. Because I, I think I got it confused at where I twisted it at, okay. too. Right. Sometimes it, it's weird. It's okay, then. So, cut that off. So now, if that happens, guys, just take a number, two, number 260, any color, stretch it, blow it up, tie it, burp it. Yeah. Sometimes it does that. You know, I get confused where joints are made and stuff. So now I'm going to take this. And I'm gonna take, wrap it around again. Okay. I like the way that hair turned out this time. So now I'm gonna twist it now. There you go. You just make little consecutive balls. I'll see that. You'll, have to, <laughs> you'll be popping the ponytail, huh? Yep. Oh. I got that one. Now you just, just hopefully I don't get confused again at this part. We have to get rid of it somehow, so. Sometimes that happens. So, so now I have that. I'm oh, going to deflate it now. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about that stuff. Yeah, sometimes it happens. I bet you all know that. I bet you all know of know I, that balloon's coming down. I guess the main thing is when you have a problem, though, you yeah. know how to fix it now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um... Because that happens all the time when we're line twisting. Yeah, it does. And let me tell you something. I play the saxophone. I make mistakes on that instrument sometimes. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes I have to fix it, and I know how to fix mistakes on the sax. So it's the same thing with balloons. Just have to make it, make no mistakes. Right. Kind of straighten it. If you need some help, just holler at you. Um, Dad, can you sure. like, help me on this yeah, part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. My assistant going to help me on by straightening up on the ball. Oh, it looks like you got it pretty close. I would just take this and just... It's tiny, that's all. You did that to kind she, of. She's holding. You did, you did good. So, anyways. Looks good, man. Here you go. Anyways, this is what she looks like. Little barrettes in her hair. Isn't that cool? Are you going to put one more in? Yeah, I'm going to put one more right here because that's her, like her little breath. So, I'm just going to take a. You have scraps. I'm going to use a 260 fresh because it's easier. So, you just need a little bit. It's like making a pinch twist. Like. Tiny, like a yeah. big. I'm just gonna do this. Just an accent for the hair, right? Yeah, and then I'm gonna poke it like this. Oh, it's right. that came out a little different this time. See that? Hmm? This is fine. That's fine. It came out almost double, didn't it? Almost. Yeah. So I need which it. Is, which is no big deal. If it came double, it could be a double barrette. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this piece. I'm gonna tie it into here. those chrome balloons aren't they nice yeah i love these chrome balloons you, you love them too guys do you like the chrome balloons give me a thumbs up if you do like that so i just tie it and i normally do it to any balloon so i'm gonna make a flower petal you know like flower so i'm gonna make like a hands width pretty good size right yeah Poke it through, and it is in your image. Yeah. Like so. And then I do this, and if I don't have enough, I can always stretch it. Plenty of blue now. And then I'm going to take a black 260 and do the same thing. Okay, it's good. It's black. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I get the mocha, 
the chocolate browns and then and the blacks mixed together. So do the same thing. There you go. Walk it through. And then you kind of, kind of. You're going to have enough there? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to twist it like this. Yeah, because we only go a few times, so. Yeah, we do. And if you don't have enough, just stretch it. Be wild with the balloon, you know? <laughs> they don't hurt you. They don't bite you. So now you should have the balloons looking like this. Alright. Okay. And then now I'm going to twist them together. Like so. Because you want to twirl these. These are going to be the, the, the fish tail. And that's what they're called. So now I'm going to twirl these, but how? I'm going to use my legs. So I'm going to come down, I'm just going to do one, two, and three. And look at that. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to do double pin twist down below because you want to have your, your, um, your fins to be on there. Tie it like this. And then, yeah, twist it like that. So cut it off. Boom. Alternating? Yeah. Yeah. So. And for the 4th of July? Yeah, you, put, you can make these for like 4th of July, St. Patty's. You can make them like for just, just um, change the color Christmas. Yeah, yeah. You can do like Christmas um, colors. And and I one day, one time I had a job that I did at an Italian restaurant demonstration on one of these. I made a mermaid that looked Italian, the color of the flag, colors of Italian. She was holding a little flag. You do anything you want with these mermaids. So I'm just giving you a pointer. You did a demo where she's holding a bouquet of flowers. I did. Or a heart. You, you can do that, too, if you're giving it to somebody. It says happy and birthday. Stuff. And so this is what a balloon should look like. Yeah. So now I'm going to take this piece. I'm gonna tie it you taut. Do a tail next? Oh, then I can. Wouldn't that be a good idea yeah. to put the tail on now? Yeah. See, I knew she was missing a tail. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take another gold chrome to 60 or any colored foot or tails. I'm gonna blow it up. Aren't you glad you got me to ask an assistant? <laughs> so then I blow it up, burp it again. <laughs> What, you think I was going to burp or something? <laughs> it's not me doing that, Becky. Yeah, it is. No, wait, is there? I mean, you just tie it like this. Like, number the dog ears, you just do it just like that. Now, this is for, in case, this is for a tip mermaid. So I just come down like this. Make sure they're even. Does that look even? No. Yeah, yeah it does. That's pretty good. Okay. You can always round them out as after you do it, yeah. Okay, so. And then you just take it, put put in a balloon, pinch this, so the balloon should look like this, like a propeller again. Then twist it, then twist it like this. Okay. So, okay, and then you just get rid of the stragglers or squidgies. And where's not a good place to do a uh, mermaid balloon? By the water. That's right. Why? Because if you let them go, they can swim in the water. Yeah, then they can. And you got screaming kids, crying kids. Oh, brother. <laughs> so now your tail should look like this. And that's beautiful. I love these chrome balloons. So in the next part, I'm going to take my mermaid. I'm going to oh. just have it tight. Ain't that looking fancy. Huh? And I'm going to take the swagger, just tie it. Like, like so. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then now you look like you have a mermaid looking like this. Oh, this looks Italian. No, it's not. It's it not. Kinda, it kind of looks like it to me. I got rid of a straggler. You don't want these. Then the reason. Then, oh, we don't have to use that, do we, this time? No, sometimes I leave these on because sometimes the hair tends to go up. So in this case, it's down. So I don't need those. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you do with them? With the hair? What, how does that help you? It just helped um, tie down the hair. Okay. Mo okay. All right. And now she's missing a face. You know, she needs a beautiful looking face. So my assistant, come on up here. <laughs> Let's do the face now. Oh, wow. so this is what the mermaid should look like. She's beautiful. I think we should make her a cyclops. No, no, we're not doing the vampire. We're not doing the cyclops one. We're just gonna do a regular one. Well, why you don't like my idea? Because they're kind of weird. And little boys like that stuff. They, they, do. they do. They do like that stuff. They like all the, they like all the weird stuff. I need one for a little girl like that. I made a cyclops and these lips and a little bit of trickle of blood coming out of her mouth. They thought that was cool. Some I remember that. Some little kids are just sick. Yeah. Okay, what I do is I start there. Okay. Just two little pupils. Put two little dots. And I do the eyelashes. Girls like the little pretty eyelashes. Yep. I hate it when I mess them up. Oh yeah, the markings. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it happens, you all know. And I put the eyelashes on like that. And I give her some nose. She needs a nose. I just make two little dots. Like that. And then. And we gotta give her some lips. She needs a big lip. Because <laughs> mermaids are supposed to look pretty. They're pretty things. You want some spit coming out of her mouth? No spit. No, no. Spit. no, no. no spit. Yeah. All right, there you go. You can show them. Okay. This is what no mermaids should look like, guys. That is cool. I like those. I like those mermaids. And here's the one you made yesterday. Nice and there. there's her twin. <laughs> Look at that, her little twins, yeah. her best friends, they're going to go play in the water. That looks good, thank So, that's it for today. Thank you, Harry, thank you, Bonnie, for letting me have the opportunity to teach. This was great, guys. I love doing this for you, and I will be teaching again soon. What are you going to make next? Maybe a race car, maybe a helicopter. How about those big heads we Those do? big heads I do, those are the oh, weird ones. So, um, thank you to Harry, Baldy, and Blooming Nani. Let me teach today. So, hope you have a good rest of the day or evening, wherever you live. Again, this is Nicole's Fantastic Balloonar. Bye! How do you turn it off? Then, how... You, so, can, you can turn it off. Yeah, I can turn it off. <laughs> You're on film. <laughs> so, so